Hi, my name is Dan Sugar, founder and CEO of Next Tracker. Thank you for your engagement on our video series about having difficult conversations with Uncle Bob. Today we're going to be addressing, well, what about all that land being used by solar? If we if we try to power the country with solar, the whole country is going to be covered with solar panels. Well, if we were to power 100%, and I mean generate extra energy in the day, so batteries are using it, it's powered at night for, for everything, solar would cover less than one half of 1% of the land area. But of course, solar is being put on rooftops, on homes, on businesses. It's covering carports. We see those a lot at schools. And for systems that are on the ground, which typically follow the sun with a tracker, we're seeing customers increasingly use dual use applications. For example, one of our great customers, Silicon Ranch Corporation, has really pioneered the idea of dual use with agriculture and ranching, where we're seeing many solar power plants, grazing, livestock, sheep, cattle, and pollinators and other creative uses being used. There's plenty of area out there and we're creating economic value in communities where projects are being built. We're not manufacturing things in a faraway land and dumping them in communities. Communities are actually manufacturing these systems and putting them back in. One of the most gratifying projects we've done at Next Tracker with our manufacturing partner, JM Steel, was brought new life to a manufacturing facility in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania that had previously been a Bethlehem Steel facility, but it had been dormant for many decades. In fact, at that exact facility, they made landing craft that were used to support the Normandy landing in World War II. Well, we were able to use that existing technology with steel conveyors and equipment and infrastructure to start making modern solar plants. So we've been able to create a new ecosystem. It's the ground zero of the new industrial revolution in clean energy. Thank you for watching. Please keep your thoughtful comments and questions coming.